Hi friends, do you want to know how I sewed this tulle skirt for Sew Frugal 22? Well, if you do, let's get started. Hi sewing friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Polly and this is the sewing edit where we talk all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. In today's video, I want to walk you through the process of me creating this lovely tulle skirt for Sew Frugal 22. As you probably have heard, that was a challenge that was held by Ruan, by uh, Yorkshire Sew so so Girl and Sam by Frugalissima uh, throughout the month of March where we had to think of a free sewing pattern, get a free uh, uh, fabric from our own stash and sew something for a human, for yourself or for somebody else, it had to be for a human. So what I did was I created this uh, skirt. So today I thought I'll walk you through the whole process. I will actually create um, sections in my video where I walk you through my inspiration process, through my, um, cutting process, sewing process, and also some tips and tricks that I learned along the way of uh, creating this skirt. And I will uh, share at the end uh, the actual skirt, me wearing it with some photos as well. You probably might have seen uh, some of these photos on um, my Instagram already. And uh, while we're still on this topic, I wanted to say a big thank you to all of you who have commented and uh, showed your opinion on my skirt. Um, really, it warms my heart and uh, it really gives me a bit more confidence that I actually can create something. Um, I initially didn't think that it will be such a wonderful project as it came out I truly enjoyed it and I wanted to share it with you it was a little bit of a messy process but I learned a lot throughout the process and I hopefully will share some tips and tricks with you let's start with the inspiration part oh. it all started with the so frugal challenge uh, i learned about it that it will be held this year again in our private sewing group of, of vloggers where we were planning a, a vlogging schedule how to inspire all of you with uh, creating something with a free pattern and a, a fabric from your own stash um, and that is when the idea for sewing a skirt a tulle skirt came uh, came about first initially and I knew I have quite a lot of uh, tulle left over. The challenge I was facing in my own head was that this tulle was white and um, I wanted a different color tulle, but I had so much tulle that I thought, well, I have to use it somehow. So what I decided to do is I decided to dye some tulle and uh, see uh, I, if I can, you know, achieve the, the color of, uh, of the tulle that I had in mind. Um, probably you have seen this vlog. If you haven't, I'll link it up, t up here where I actually go through the process of dyeing the tulle. Um, I had a very surprising result. Uh, initially, I wanted to dye the skirt in uh, the tulle, I'm sorry, in uh, black color, but it came out this color. Um, thankfully, I was very open-minded about what I'm going to achieve, so I was quite happy with, um, with this color as well. Then I had to come up with a plan of what kind of a skirt to go through, and I had done quite a lot of research of thinking in my head first what kind of silhouette I'm, I'm going for, what I want in a tulle skirt because for a very long time I did want to make to, to sew my own uh, tulle skirt but I wanted to make it unique, I wanted to put my own twist to it and I was struggling in, in my, my own head because I didn't know what exactly I wanted to achieve yet. What I knew is that I wanted to use tulle and I wanted to create texture with it. So what did I do? I went first on to Pinterest and I started browsing. First I started with um, haute couture ideas, uh, then I went through some street styles that I looked at. I also uh, was going through a lot of uh, my own books uh, which um, inspire me sometimes to use different techniques and I used to use quite a lot of these techniques in the past when I was having my own bridal accessories business. And it really actually excited me even more working with tulle. Tulle is 
in my opinion, is not a difficult fabric to work with, um, and it, you can ch uh, you can achieve some fabulous results. Really, if you can, if you know how to manipulate the two, and it's not very difficult, you can really uh, create something very impactful. So what I did, I started, as I said, with uh, fashion, and then I went through the art stage of um, trying to think of something translucent, but at the same time, uh, some natural forms I wanted to achieve. So so all of this was a bit of a mess in my uh, head and it did take me quite a few days actually to process and to think finally what can what can come out of this um, this creative process of me collecting information of what I want to, uh, to create and initially I settled on creating something like a skirt like the one that I will show you here this card was full of texture in my view um, and I liked that um, it wasn't too, um, w uh, too, too wide around the legs. I, I knew I wanted something that is midi length um, and I thought this idea was quite uh, nice. Then I tried a few different uh, uh, ways of achieving these um, ruffles or these flounces together and I had an idea already what I'm going to sew. It was time for me to start creating. Um, so what I finally settled on after going through quite a lot of different free patterns, which I actually shared up here with you, I seriously considered every single one of them. I decided surprisingly to go for a quarter circle skirt and I decided, I've never done it before, but I decided it will be not so difficult. I decided to draft it myself. So what did I do? I picked up my uh, one of my fashion books that I will link, uh, show you here. I think it was called Fashion Design Book by Helen Armstrong, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there clearly, it's a very simple process of how you uh, draft a circle skirt. I wanted a quarter circle skirt because it didn't have too much of a flounce. And my initial idea was to put texture on top of skirt, so to say. So I knew that it's going to, it can potentially get quite big and I didn't want it to be so big so I said I thought maybe a quarter circle skirt is just enough volume down there with the texture that I wanted to achieve. Now uh, let's talk a little bit about the cutting process and what actually came about um, me doing the cutting. Uh, of course I knew I needed to have lining so the lining I picked up a lining from my stash uh, that was kind of a nude color. It wasn't particularly uh, matching to the color of the tulle but uh, if you look at here um, the combination is actually not that bad so I thought well this is what I have in my stash and I rather use it so I had quite a lot of it it is um, uh, polyester uh, a lining that I bought long time ago and I had plenty of it and I knew that even if I make a mistake I can cut again and uh, and use it uh, again I have to say that the lining that I cut as a first layer was probably about three centimeters um, I'm sorry, it was probably about two and a half to three inches uh, shorter than the tulle length of the same skirt. Then I immediately decided it was time for me to cut into the dyed tulle. And when I cut into the dyed tulle, I realized that I haven't um, dyed enough a tool. I didn't really measure it. I just went by eye and I thought, well, this is quite a big uh, uh, pile of tulle. I thought that would be more than enough for my uh, uh, for my skirt project. Well, it wasn't for what I was thinking I will do. So as I said to you, initially I wanted to create texture. So in my head, I was thinking first, I'm going to have a few layers, probably three, four layers of tulle, and then I will uh, create um, a gather, uh, uh, gather some tulle and uh, attach it uh, in lines around the circle everywhere. Well, when I cut the, when I decided to cut my layers of tulle, I realized that I hardly was able to cut two layers of my dyed tulle, which was not enough. So what I did, I realized I have to cut more tulle because the lining with two layers of tulle was just not enough and it wasn't creating a very um, impactful design. So what I did, I cut 
two extra layers of pure white tulle because I had extra tulle uh, available besides the one that I dyed and I didn't have more um, dyeing, uh, dyeing powder to, to dye more, more fabric and I was literally I made this skirt the last three days before the challenge was finished so I knew that I needed to work hard fast so I cut two layers of white tulle, I cut um, two layers of um, the dyed tulle and I also had one layer of um, lining that was shorter than the length of the tulle itself. I believe the my uh, length of the skirt was about 30 inches uh, when I measured it and, I, and the waistband um, I self-drafted it I just measured uh, the the waist uh, uh, area uh, around the circle skirt and then I created a very long rectangular. I used uh, my lining uh, as, as a uh, as a belt and I put a lot of interfacing uh, like a strong interface a uh, white interfacing in it and it was just perfect for creating the waistband uh, on top. I also did use an invisible zipper to attach it to the lining of the uh, of the circle skirt. The first thing I did I was uh, able to close the circle skirt it had only one seam on the back and then I inserted um, uh, the the invisible zipper. I also decided to then baste by hand uh, the two layers of white tulle that I attached to the uh, waistband of my uh, lining. I have to actually add that for the lining I did include um, hem of course. I did hem it uh, on the lining side. I didn't create a hem around the tulle, uh, for the tulle, uh, for the layers of tulle I would say. After I attached the first two layers layers of white tulle to the lining. Uh, I laid down the uh, first layer of pink tulle and started to embellish it. At that moment I didn't really know what I wanted to do but I knew I wanted to create a texture and I was faced with the challenge that I just simply did not have enough um, pink tulle. I started playing with what can I do to create something on this simple uh, white, simple uh, pink tulle and what I came up with is I just picked up cutouts when I was cutting my um, circle skirt. I had a few cutouts of, of tulle and I just hung them uh, in my hand and I liked the way how they draped on my hand and I literally stick them onto the pink tulle layer skirt and I actually quite liked how it looked. So I put a few layers of uh, cutout tulle uh, that were literally used during my cutting process and I laid them there but I still felt that something was missing. Then I thought of feathers. I have worked with feathers before I have to say and I enjoy quite a lot working with feathers during my millinery time when I was creating some uh, bridal head pieces or custom made pieces for clients I did work with some uh, feathers and I quite enjoy the process and I knew that actually feathers go quite well um, in combination with tulle. For this particular project I do remember I had some leftover feathers, goose feathers, uh, that were in peach color and when I put them onto the pink tulle it was just match made in heaven. I just loved how it looked. Initially I did uh, uh, I knew that I uh, wanted to shape the, the feather so I can show you here how I'm actually shaping by the feather by cutting some of the stem um, which has a little bit of a fluffy bits and then shaping a little bit the feather um, but when I placed it onto the skirt I realized that it looked too flat to me and it didn't it didn't achieve the texture that I was after. So what I decided to do, I decided to curl the ends of the feathers and here I'm showing you how I did it actually. Um, and that process of curling the feathers um, actually brings in my opinion the feather a little bit to, to life. It, it gives it a little bit of a shape and a form and then I was able to sew it onto the tulle. So the first thing I did I shaped it 
I cut the, uh, the, the goose feathers, I shaped them, and then I carefully placed them across the whole uh, layer of uh, the skirt. And I looked whether I liked the placement in combination with the tulle cutouts. When I was absolutely happy and convinced that this is the way I wanted it to look like, I then started sewing a piece by piece. First, the cutout pieces I sewed by hand and then I was uh, sewing the feathers onto uh, the tulle, on only one layer of tulle, I have to say. So my uh, plan was always to have one layer of tulle uh, that is going to be embellished, which was the pink tulle, uh, the pink tulle. And then on top of it, I had a, a second layer, which was co covering the first layer of embellished tulle. Well, Basically, it is the third layer of tulle because underneath you have two white uh, layers of tulle. But that way you kind of, even if you have a little bit of a stitching onto um, your feathers that you can, you will hardly, they will hardly be visible when you are putting the top layer of tulle um, uh, on, on, on the very top. It kind of conceals everything, but still creates this fluidity and natural, um, movement of the tool, in my opinion. I was very happy with the process. It was a very tedious process in a way, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I took my time. It took me probably um, good three hours to decide on a placement and make sure that I'm happy with what I was uh, doing. And then I, uh, then I sewed it up. Um, here I would like to, I, I also would like to share with you the, my experience uh, with sewing with tulle. It, as I've said before, um, I don't think it's difficult sewing with tulle. Uh, you just need to have the right tools. Uh, in terms of sewing, I would highly recommend that you sew with a thin needle, something like a universal or microtex needle. Universal, I would use 10 to 12 uh, size and uh, microtex, they're quite thin uh, needles. I would also test it. That's what I did for my project. I also used uh, a stitch length of about 1.8 to 2 millimeters and I also used a straight stitch. I know in a lot of um, uh, guidelines on how to sew tulle, you use a, they use a zigzag stitch. I used a straight stitch and I didn't have a problem with, with it. I, I highly recommend that you use the same color uh, thread because the tulle is very transparent and if you use the wrong, even slightly off color, um, thread it, it really shows through. I also recommend uh, using a French seam. This is what I did for my um, uh, for my tulle. I um, had just the stitch length uh, uh, along the back seam and I kept uh, the opening of the tulle between uh, where the, the zip is attached to the lining. This kind of um, opening for the tulle uh, layers, I didn't stitch it. I just kept it open. But because it has a little bit of fluffiness there, it really didn't matter so much. So um, I just kept it open. Again, tulle is very forgiving as well to sew with. And also um, in terms of um, pressing, I think it's quite important to iron the tulle, use a pressing cloth. I use my organza pressing cloth uh, because uh, tulle can actually um, uh, wrinkle and when it, it depends on how stiff your uh, tulle is. Mine was a bridal tulle which was very soft and easy uh, and it had a beautiful drape once it was properly uh, ironed. But also during the process of uh, sewing it, I always ironed it. Um, highly recommend to do that. It really gives a, a better shape to your overall garment. And finally, what I wanted to um, share with all of you is um, I would I would encourage every single one of you uh, to go through your stash and pick up a fabric and give try something new because when you try something new, you will be surprised how resourceful and how creative you can become once you have set the 
guidelines of your project in a way. Uh, in my case, I just knew that this is what I had. I had a limited amount of a pink tulle and the rest was white. So I used it to my advantage and I just said, okay, well, I don't have enough tulle to create this um, texture that I initially wanted. What can I do with it? And I actually never thought that this project in the beginning of the project, I never thought that this two, uh, this skirt will look the way it looks right now. Um, overall, I'm very pleased and happy with the result uh, here that I'm sharing. And I will now show you how uh, a few pictures of it and me wearing it. If you guys have any questions or comments or need to know more or um, even styling ideas, do share them below because it's not only me, it's all of us uh, from the sewing com community who are uh, watching these videos and we can learn uh, from each other. And I find it very um, insightful sometimes with uh, the comments from your side. So I would encourage you to uh, uh, step in and just write something down below and let me know what you think of, of the skirt and with that I will leave you with some footage of me wearing the skirt and some close-ups of the skirt and uh, I hope to see you next time if you want to see more videos I'll attach them up here so until next time have a good day bye